Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It's Lori, and I'm here to do your general reading for you. Let's go ahead and start by rolling the zodiac die and seeing what signs you might be dealing with. We have got Sagittarius and Scorpio are very strong. Vir Virgo, Leo, Libra. There you are. Awesome. All right, I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun today. I hope it's not too early for you. Let's go ahead and get right into your reading. Your overall energy at the start of the reading is the Ace of Swords. Then we have the Herald font. We have the King of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Sun card, and the World. What a way to finish that out. Woo, that is powerful. Beautiful energy here. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. All right, I think you can see the cards even with all this beautiful, glorious sunshine. I don't think there's much of a glare except for over here for my light. Your energy when you got up before you started watching this was the king of pentacles. Thinking about your financial stability. Thinking about um, money. Money's big on your mind right now. You're waiting to hear something about um, some sort of settlement. Some sort of contract that's being settled. A deed property exchange, um, closing on a house, divorce, lawsuit. There's something here that's beyond your control, okay? There's some sort of major contract here where somebody else is making the decision. You, you have, it's beyond your control at this point. You're just waiting to hear the final um, outcome. Hmm. I've got you strategizing and planning things here. You're thinking, you know, about your future, what you want to do, where you where it would be smartest for you to take action, and also where not to do anything. We have that with the seven of the swords there. With the over the the seven of swords is over the queen of coins. You are definitely thinking about um your finances. Some of you, this is definitely a divorce. And the two of you could be talking and strategizing about how to divvy up the assets. Okay, for a lot of you, and it's going pretty well. There's, you know, there's a lot of stress there. There's a lot of weight of the world for both of you um, on how to do this so that everyone benefits, each of you benefits. Or gets what you deserve anyway. Anyways, um, there may be back and forth contract negotiations. That's whether it's a divorce or not. Okay. Um, whatever type of lawsuit. Here you're waiting. You're just waiting for the decision. But I'm getting that some sort of... Uh, oh, this is after the decision is made. Okay, now you're strategizing, trying to figure out what to do with what you have. How is it best going to serve you? Some of you feel like you did not get enough out of, of this. Others of you, it will feel like you are putting a major burden down. I, I'm, I feel bad for anyone who feels like they did not get enough. If you look at the situation more closely, I think you will discover that you probably have more than enough to maintain your, to be happy in life. Maybe not at the same lifestyle that you were at, but it does look like you will have enough. Okay, you won't be wanting or hurting for anything. And of course, I am hearing for some of you who feel that way that you can renegotiate. It may take a while, but uh, it does look like either way, no matter what the situation is, it will be a um, dawning of a new day. It will make you feel lighter. 
It closes out an era. It definitely closes out a story, a chapter in your life. The door is closing on that. And you've got beautiful energy here with the sun card. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. I do hear back here with the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Somebody's really trying to be generous, okay? So if this is a divorce, somebody here is trying to be, trying to make sure that you do have enough, okay? That you get what you deserve. So if this is a divorce, this is a very amicable one, okay? Where both parties are just like, we've outgrown each other, let's just move on, whatever the reason is, okay? It could have been an awful relationship, but at this point, you're both just saying, Let's just move on. Let's make sure both of us can afford to live and take care of ourselves and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, so that was important for me to get out there. From Spirits wanted that message out there for somebody. That it'd be nice if more people could deal with uh, situations in that manner. Very good, fair and balanced. And somebody here, though, is trying to be very fair with you. All right. But either way, no matter who you are, whatever the situation is, you will have a b brilliant outcome here, okay? You are choosing to be happy. You're choosing to look at the world fresh, new. Like I said, you're closing out a major cycle here in your life. Closing the door on, you know, your past. Letting it go and focusing on a beautiful moment right now. You're free. Uh, and I'm getting with the lawsuit. You're now free to come and go and do as you please. Some of you were not allowed to travel, I'm hearing, while this decision was being made. There was a court case here, and there was a decision being made, and uh, some of you couldn't travel, so now you have your freedom again. You're allowed to move about at will. Awesome. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going to use a different deck today to clarify. Let's go ahead and start with the Hierophant and see what else Spirit would like to tell us about your overall message for today. This is actually very good because it looks like um, whatever financial situation you are waiting on, it is going to end in your favor or at least to where you're happy with the outcome. Uh-huh. So we have the Temperance and the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is here in the other deck. Ace of Swords is here. So there is a tender, like prickly situation here that's requiring patience, um, using your smarts, just hanging in there waiting for things to change. Okay, there's nothing you can do about it, you're, but you're just waiting for the answer here. Okay, that's what the hair, that's Ace of Swords and Temperance are clarifying the Hierophant energy here. So you're just kind of having to wait. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a, with this Ace of Swords here with a pink ribbon wrapped around it. It's almost like a wound that's almost healed, but until you get the truth, you can't quite heal it. So the truth is coming. The truth is coming. The answer, the decision is being made. You're being asked to be patient for a little longer because things are going to change pretty soon. All right. Let's go ahead and look at the King of Swords. Yeah, just hang in there a little bit longer. Now, this is a general reading. It's not necessarily a daily reading. So that does not mean this is going to happen. It could happen for you today. Okay, it could happen for you to tomorrow. It could happen for you a month from now. Tarot is fluid until we have a definitive time frame. It's going to happen at different times for different people. All right, clarifying the King of Swords, we have the World card, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. I'm hearing that this has been on pause for quite a while. It's, it's a tough decision. Okay, but you know who you are. You know what you deserve. Um, we have the King and Queen of Swords here. So this is definitely, for a lot of you, it's about a divorce. Or, you know, if you're not actually married, it could be a long-term relationship where you have assets tied up in the relationship. All right. Yeah, you're definitely closing out a cycle here. The answer is about to come with this world card here. 
okay? So you're just waiting. You, you know who you are. You know what you deserve. You know what you're going to get. You're abusing your head. You are not rushing into anything. You've made the proper negotiations. You, you're just waiting to move past the, the heartache and the pain, okay? You want to feel whole again. You want to feel happy. It is difficult. It is very difficult. But you're doing great, Spirit says. You're keeping your uh, emotions in check. You're keeping, you're staying smart. All right. Clarifying the Seven of Swords, we have the Page of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. I hear that if this is a divorce, your person's coming to you to apologize. All right. For the rest of you, this is about strategize. Well, all of you. It's for all of you. It's about strategizing what you're going to do with this money once you have it, once you have these assets, where you're going to go in life, but it's about your money. Okay, there's a lot of money for different people. Everybody's got some sort of settlement here. That's what this whole reading is about. Some sort of settlement coming from something. Okay, so that means this reading is not for everybody out there. If you don't have a lawsuit, if you're not going through a divorce, if you don't have somebody who passed away and is deeding their house to you, then this reading is not for you, okay? Don't take on somebody else's reading. All right, so Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Cups tells me you're thinking very strategically outside the box, being creative. Where do you want to put your money? How do you want to build your new life? What do you plan to do? Beautiful energy here. Beautiful. You're really thinking smart, too, I'm hearing. You are smart, you know. You've got a very good brain. Look at this. And you're healing from this. You are moving on. You've got the star card here on the bottom of the deck. So there's a lot of healing, a hope for the future. That's where you're focused. Is You're going to make sure that you have enough to take care of yourself and you're planning how you're going to do that with whatever you are given. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Queen of Coins here, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Magician. You know exactly who you are, and you are working your magic, okay? So what I'm hearing here is you're using all of your resources available to you to make sure that you have the creature comforts in life and maybe more, okay? You have, you know you have everything you need, okay? And you are going to protect it here with this Queen of Cords. We've got coins. We've got the Magician clarifying the Queen of Coins. I'm hearing somebody out here keep saying, you have a heart of gold. You have a heart of gold. All right? So you know that, we're, that you have all the resources that you need. Look, you've got the Seven of Swords again. You are strategizing, planning. Look at that. Whether you're male or female, you have the Empress energy here. Okay? You are standing in your self-worth. You know who you are. You've got good boundaries. You could be the mother of this person's chil children. But you're releasing the past here. You're rising above it. You're, I'm hearing you're being very mature. You're being very adult. Um, this is in a divorce, okay? This is in a divorce settlement. Okay, let's move on to the Ten of Wands. But you are strategizing and planning and using every resource you have available to um, plan out your retirement, your future. How are you going to take this money and use it? How can you invest it? All right, for the Ten of Wands, we are clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Eight of Wands. So you're putting your burdens down here with this Ten of Wands over the Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in here to communicate with you. Or you are going to be, there's a lot of back and forth communication here. And it changes your future. But it's based on what you decide so again, I'm hearing for some of you, this may be um, back and forth negotiations, communications, making sure that you do have a um, enough for the future. Definitely. Look at that real wheel of fortune there. 
You have double tens. Ten of wands and then the ten on the wheel of fortune here. You're putting some real heavy burdens down. You're starting to see the abundance in your life again. You're starting to have hope for the future. Your attitude is changing the direction of your future. Okay? You've got a lot of good things coming your way. This is got for some of you, this is a huge amount of money where you will not have to worry about creature comforts anymore at all. Like your day-to-day -day living will be taken care of. The only thing you may have to worry about is what you want to spend money on for entertainment, for fun, okay? And for some of you, you won't even have to worry about that. You may be able to travel, you know, do what you want. Whatever it is, is very emotionally satisfying, however much it is. All right, let's go ahead and look at the Knight of Swords here. We've got the Hierophant again. We've got the Two of Cups and then the Sun card. Wow. This is definitely um, negotiations back and forth where it's everything's trying to be fair for everybody involved. Happiness, okay? Doing it, doing things the right way with the Hierophant, the Two of Cups, and then the Sun. So there is definitely back back and forth communications. Negotiations, I'm hearing. Negotiations. Something's being cleared up here. There, there was something in question with a deed, a title. Who was supposed to receive what? And it's being cleared up. So if there's, if you are trying to close on a house or like, Somebody deeded you a piece of property, and there's been issues. That's about to be resolved. We've got the sun twice here. Yeah, whatever was... There was confusion about something here. All right, let's go ahead and look at the sun energy. Let's go ahead and see what the sun card up here, please, spirit, means for my lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, and Channel fans. Oh, and of course, let me take a moment to say thank you all for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And of course, if you would do me the kindness of booping that like button, I would really appreciate it. If you, um, if this seems like you're reading, you're involved in a divorce, a deed settlement, um, trying to purchase a home or sell a home, or you have some sort of lawsuit, go ahead and drop me a comment. Let me know. All right, and uh, of course, if you are new here and you are not subscribed to the channel, we have an awesome community, and I would invite you to join us. We would love to have you. Also, check out the description box for any information about readings or other things like card decks that I use and so on. All right, Spirit, are we ready with a message on the Sun Energy card here? There we go. All right. We have the Hanged Man and the Nine of Swords. So, something that has kept you very, very stressed, sleepless at night, kept you stuck, is about to break free. Yep, with the sun coming out here, you are about to transform. Look at the butterfly here, and here's the, the caterpillar that's about to... You can see the caterpillar is starting to... Uh, transform there so you are definitely going to have like an awakening a sense of freedom a sense of release king of cups here yeah happiness joy okay bliss dawning of a new day self-satisfaction too king of pentacles is here again all right so this is yeah when this happens when the when the answer's when the decision is finally made, okay, and everything's cleared up, you are definitely going to be released from those sleepless nights. You may have new sleepless nights as you're trying to transform into a different lifestyle. So there are some of you that will, it, it will be kind of a nice, excited, see how it's pink? Pink us, usually means um, excitement, tenderness, um, a lightheartedness. 
So for some of you, as you're going through this now with the sun out here, clarity, you're definitely seeing the world in a whole new way, feeling a lot better, feeling free. Yes. All right, let's go ahead and see what the world energy or world card energy is here. What is this about? What more would you like to tell us, Spirit? What else is coming with this world energy world card here? Oh, I just looked up at the clock and it said 2020 on my phone. Okay. 20 minutes, 20 seconds. For those of you that don't understand that. The world card here. Clarification of the world card spirit, please. Four of Cups. Four of Cups came out by itself, and then we have the Judgment, the Devil, and the Fool. Wow. Yeah, okay. So the Four of Cups usually is about refusing to accept, you know, the same old, same old. So you're blending things up. You're changing things up here. You're mixing it up. See how all four, three cups are going into the one now? Mixing things up, changing things. You're letting go of the past, rising above that situation. Your old life is over. You can't go back to it. It's over. It's done. Whether it's a divorce or a settlement here, life is going to be different. All right. Um, some of you are going to be very, very tempted to just go out there and be reckless, be careless, just go on a spending spree or something here. Spirit's recommending you don't do that. Go back to strategizing here. Okay. Others of you, you're just so excited <laughs> you're just so excited at this door closing that uh you have all this fool energy like you may be dancing around acting like you know having fun celebrating okay just don't overdo it keep your eye on what you have to do here beautiful message though beautiful way to end this look at this you are feeling like the emperor of your life Absolutely. And you're moving into a definitely a much happier future. Look at that. Uh-oh, you've got a decision to make. Some of you have a decision to make. Oh, we got the Queen of Cups again. All right, and you're confused about this. It does have something to do with a relationship. You're standing good, tall, proud. You're happy with your life. Okay, some of you are, you have a decision to make and you're not sure how to approach this person that you are interested in. Maybe you left them behind while you were dealing with this relationship because we have the five of pentacles here. Somebody was left out in the cold. Okay. Huh. I see it taking you quite a while to approach this person. Yeah, look at that. It's going to take you a long time, but you've got somebody on your mind. So whether you're divorcing, if you're divorcing, you're definitely not jumping into something, something with someone else, but you are thinking about how to possibly approach somebody that you've had an interest in. You're not certain if they're interested in you or not. Others of you here, you will have a decision to make about this money that you're receiving and who you are, if, and who you may just give money to. Okay, you've got a decision to make. And you're being asked by spirit to make a healthy choice. Might it be better to put money in the bank for somebody down the road instead of giving it to them now? Okay. Spirit's advice. All right. Let's go ahead and see what Oracle message. 
Spirit wants to give you an L key. Ooh, there's something in here. This is a beautiful message no matter what. Y'all are coming into some money that you've been waiting on somehow. She who doubts, Enid. Fear, weariness, and trust. Is there another one here, Spirit? That's the first time I've seen this card. Oh, Perpetua, she who aches, came out in reverse. So that tells me that your pain and suffering may be at an end. Let's see what Enid says. Enid's message for you is to examine your own doubts. We all have been injured by life in one way or another. If we continue to hide in the shadows, then we allow those who did us injustices to win. Yeah, don't do that. Live. Don't thrive. Don't just survive. Now is the time to let go of old misgivings and learn to trust again. Weariness is not a bad thing unless you are using it to give yourself permission to hide from life. Put on a trusty talisman, slip your scarf from your ears so all of your senses are engaged, and trust in your own unique power. It just means uncover your head, be vulnerable, open yourself up, okay? All right, let's see what Perpetua says because I want to, it's in reverse. Um, Let's see what she has to say. Normally this card is saying that you may be needlessly mired in your own grief. So you've taken yourself out of your grief. I love it. Somebody here learned this lesson. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. You do not have to stay in pain. And these two tie together beautifully. You do not have to stay in pain and suffering and guilt or regrets of what happened in the past move on you're moving on here you're transforming beautiful beautiful message there those two tie together completely with this whole thing whether this was a lawsuit i'm getting for some of you this was an injury lawsuit we you were hurt okay you were hurt by life things happened um, your life is not going to be the same, but you can choose to make the absolute most out of your life, or you can sit there on the couch and just say, well, I never got enough money. I don't think any of you are doing that, okay? I think you're all going to be counting your blessings, strategizing here. You know you have all the resources available to you to make your money grow, that's what you're strategizing about, how to plan your future, how to make your money grow. All right, let's go ahead and get you three yes or no answers here. One through five is a no. Six through 12 is a yes. Answer number one is a no. Nope, no, no. Answer number two is a no. Same exact thing. No, you can't ask the same question twice it's the same answer answer number three and yes you can ask the same question twice but you're going to get the same answer that's a yes but it's barely a yes and depending on how you proceed you could end up falling on your face that's what spirit's message is for you today until our energy crosses again i'm wishing you much peace love and happiness Bye bye